If I think about a risk assessment, you know, quite simply, we're identifying hazards, we're assessing the risk and we're putting controls in place. And if I think about a physical risk like a, a slip, trip, fall hazard, so a puddle on the, on the ground in the kitchen, if I walk past it, you know, I would wipe it up to eliminate the hazard. And I don't necessarily need to do that much consultation to achieve that risk management cycle. When we're talking about psychosocial risk though, we're talking about people's experience of work you know, things that might not be as objective. There are going to be some that are, so exposure to potentially traumatic events or customer aggression or harmful behaviours in the workplace. They're a lot easier to observe, identify and assess at times because you have those overt behaviours with them. There are, however, some other hazards, things like, you know, often that come through job design. So things like, you know, high workloads, job demands, um, role clarity, you know, or, or role conflict in terms of the hazards. So, you know, often they are a lot harder to observe or, or assess. And, and so that consultation is key.